Let's count down the top 10 rides at Pacific Park. Number 10 Seaside Swing. No matter if your Santa Monica Pier visit consists of splashing in the ocean or dashing on the west coaster, nothing will ever be the beloved sensation of swinging back and forth, higher and higher on your charger swing set and that is exactly what our first attraction offers on a whole new level. Cause after boarding either side of a 60 seat gondola, do not worry you'll not have to move your legs in the direction you want to swing in, but rather the swing itself will rock your group so high into the sky that the entire family, young and old, can relive those memories once again. Number 9 Inky's Airlift Now picture multiple air balloons in the stunning Southern Californian sun, then imagine them now racing one another, and please tell me what could possibly be any more awesome than that? How about Inky's latest invention, which will allow guests of all ages, but in particular the younger adventurers out there, to do all of this at the same time as using a disc in the centre to control the dizziness of their race, meaning as similar to your typical teacup ride, the faster the disc goes, the faster your balloon will go, and vice versa. So what are you lot waiting for? 3, 2, 1, lift off. Number 8, Frog Hopper. It is now time to hop with the frogs, as if the park's standout drop tower, Pacific Plunge, does not bring you much hoppiness, then look no further than the smaller, and by far funner one. And no, I'm not only talking about the gondola here, even though it is super cool, and actually to the best of my knowledge, features a single adult seat out of a seven, so be aware of that before it hops on your list, yet that like the real Fife Amphibian, you honorary ones will be shot to the top, drop back down again to the pier, in addition to crazy enough, bounce around non-stop till you can't rip it anymore. Number 7 Sigala EV You can not have a boardwalk theme park without a Dodgems ride, However, what if I told you that Pacific Park's Dodgems is no ordinary experience? As where the space does lack, the futuristic vehicles definitely makes up for. With as soon as your party have taken their seats, either in the smaller versions for guests aged between 3 to 9, or in the bigger ones for anyone above the height of 44 inches, everything from the extremely bouncy rubber dinghy to the endless possibilities that those control sticks have make every single match, no matter the reason, just as enjoyable as the last. Number 6 Shark Frenzy From hot air balloons, to giant frogs, to futuristic dodgems, one thing that you cannot doubt about Pacific Pier is that they have some awesome ride seats. And we are only getting started, as I think you can very clearly see by our next adventure. Because while spinning around is really fun, and to think that the classic tilt and whirl has been in existence for over a hundred years now, still blows me away. It is the giant shark faces which brings this deep sea adventure from a do it if you get a chance kind of ride, to a trip to Pacific Park would be nowhere near complete without a spin, in one of the ocean's most iconic creatures. Number 5 Pacific Wheel Talking about iconic bar of course the West Coaster, which you know will be spotted later on in our list, there is no more iconic ride in the world than funny enough the world's only solar panel wheel. I mean it's on the park's logo, and so if that, and by if I mean when, you get the opportunity to take to the skies, do not expect anything less than some mesmerising views across the breathtaking Santa Monica coastline more than 130 feet above the pier itself, all before returning back down again, where if you guys are riding during the night, you can then watch a 174,000 light entertainment in the middle of the wheel. Wow, it truly has everything. Number 4 Pacific Plunge Now if I told you this almighty drop tower that we have built up for ages is just 44 feet in height, I know the majority of you will go, 
That's not big, and if any other park had it too, I would agree with you. Although what makes this plunge so thrilling is that it's situated upon a 55 foot pier too, which trust me when I say makes a world of difference when you are plunging down towards it after completing once again a series of shots, drops and bounces without all the funny theming. Leaving one question remaining, are you going to hop with the frogs or dare to take on the plunge? Comment down below. Number 3 Inky Scrambler Before we get on to Inky's other dizzy invention, I do just want to point out that this list is created on the fact that you have never been to a theme park before, because if so then you have most likely seen this ride type in the past, and therefore we would most likely suggest doing the more unique ones, such as Pacific Wheel with those views first. And then when you get the time to ride, you will not be disappointed at all. Within a nutshell, it's spinning you and three other gondolas around and around and around on a central hub until some have a little inky of their own, if you know what I mean. Number 2 Sea Dragon In 2023, we had to say goodbye to the original Sea Dragon. In addition to all of those memories as it soars into retirement over at St. Louis Museum. But we are also saying hello to a new one which still has the awesome design and still provides the rocking fun that we did not stop dragging on about for the last 26 years with thanks to the smoothness of this ride also a more relaxing feel too. Well, that is unless you are the daredevils whom choose to sail on either end of the ship, because do not fear that stomach turning sensation as you rock over the sea is still as unforgettable as ever. Number 1 West Coaster Both Pacific Pier and the end of Route 66 is totally awesome, yet none of them would be where they are today without Santa Monica Pier's very own West Coaster probably the most famous ride on the planet and for a price of only $12 each or under the unlimited wristband not only can you race around the entire pier twice dropping twisting turning in a retro car however every single time you see it whether in a video game or on one of the many film it features in you can honestly say that you have taken on the west coaster thank you all for watching bye bye